back, everyone. We are joined by Emily and Cassie from the Erie Zoo, and it looks like you both brought along a friend. We did. <laughs> Today we bought, brought with us the red-tailed hawk. Um, this is Forrest. Uh, he lives at the Erie Zoo, but if you notice, uh, he might look a little familiar. You can see these guys all around Pennsylvania. They are native to this area, but they go as far as Alaska, uh, south of out of Panama, all through Nova Scotia. Um, Forrest here is very special. He was a wild caught bird who was injured and rehabilitated and therefore couldn't be re-released into the wild. So then he came to live at the Erie Zoo and be an ambassador animal doing things like this in different classes and programs. What does it mean to you to kind of get birds such as this and be able to rehabilitate them and help them out? Absolutely, so he was rehabilitated at another facility uh, like Tamarack, we work very closely with them. Um, so it's really unique because ambassador animals like Forest here are our way of educating the public about why animals are important to our environment, why they're important, and that we have animals beyond just, you know, more uh, outside of the United States. You know, to be able to teach people about the animals they may see in their backyard is really important as well. You can touch that. These are pretty common in Pennsylvania? Yes, they are all throughout. Um, usually they're up pretty high. They used to stay in uh, tall trees, usually 30 to 70 feet up. They are very fast flyers too. They do about 40 miles per hour when flying, 120 miles when diving for oh, their man, prey. Oh wild. Yeah, and their eyesight is excellent, about eight times sharper than a human being. Very interesting. Mm -hmm. What's the his diet like what, what does he eat yeah so he is like most birds of prey they eat small mammals um, so that eyesight is really important if they're that high up uh, looking for those small mammals they'll eat things like rabbits uh, rats uh, moles mice and some of the smaller rodents like mice and stuff they'll actually uh, swallow whole oh man like like owls yeah pretty, pretty wild you know, a couple things going on at the Erie Zoo. Uh, senior Day, you said you got coming? Yes. Tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, we have some exciting events coming up. We have our Senior Citizens Day coming up this upcoming Wednesday from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. All senior citizens 62 years and above will get in for free, along with if they bring any grandchildren 18 years and below, get in for free. You get some, some goodies and free handouts. You'll get to visit with 30 vendors from over the throughout the region and uh, just experience the zoo from 10 to 2. Sounds like a great time. Mm -hmm. I do got to ask you, I was actually there the other day, pretty busy. How's the summer been for you guys? It's been excellent. We've had so many people come out and visit with us. We've been so grateful. Um, you know, everybody coming out is really important to the nonprofit work that we do. Um, it's been busy, busy. So we ask that you just keep uh, soaking in the last bit of summer at the Erie Zoo and we can't wait to see you. Yeah, get in. And then you said you had uh, uh, moving Mondays? Or yeah, another move, event coming? yeah, we have movement Mondays. We still have a couple more dates of our yoga at the zoo. Uh, it's a couple Monday evenings at 530. Check it out on our website, eriezoo.org, and you can learn more there. Emily Cassidy and Forrest, thank you so much for joining us. And we're going to be